Hi, welcome to Oracle Modern Cloud Day here in the Netherlands. And I have the pleasure to be with Andrew Sutherland. You're the Senior Vice President for Business Development still am, for System and Technologies. That's right. We spoke last year. We did indeed. And good to see you again. Yeah, it's good to, to have you over here again. And you gave, just gave a keynote about yeah. cloud. That's right. But if I look to cloud, many companies still have lots of data on premise. I think Absolutely. the most biggest part of the data is still on premise. How can companies handle this? Well, it's great to see you again, Ronald. And, and indeed, you're, you're right on the button. At the start of this always very innovative Netherlands session, by the way, I love coming here. I don't get here often enough. I know like you don't either. Um, it's always very innovative. And I know they did a word cloud at the beginning of the session where the audience was asked to just type in a word in their mind associated with cloud cloud. And legacy came up. Uh, you know, it's the biggest word that used to do. And, and I think that was no surprise to us. We may not have been the first movers in cloud, but we did look and watch and listen. And that's often quite a good thing to do. Mm -hmm. And we learned very quickly that it was very important for organizations, they're not really going to take everything to cloud today. There are a whole host of reasons why they may not do so. Uh, co combinations of things like data sovereignty, combinations of things, um, security and so on. Mm -hmm. So many today wish to operate an environment partially in the cloud and partially on premises. And that's where Oracle has sought to really differentiate itself by making sure that its cloud offering is absolutely identical to the on-premise offering. So it's easy to move both ways, Ron. We, we see organizations testing and developing the cloud and then wanting to repatriate back on-prem. And many organizations with substantial uh, on-prem environments wanting to be able to simply move across and migrate, lifting and shifting. And that's why we, we created the Generation 2 Cloud for really two-way movement and hybrid environments. Yeah, and I think the, the core is really this management part. Can you give some examples? Yes, it is. The core is the management piece, absolutely right. Again, different from perhaps more consumer-oriented environments. In an enterprise environment, it's all about visibility, transparency, accountability uh, and governance. How do we look after this ever-expanding environment? So we've made sure that it's possible really to operate with a single pane of glass to make sure that whether you're running cloud at customer, mm -hmm. public cloud or on-premise, you're able to see it all effectively as one estate which you're managing. Absolutely vital. Once again, for the enterprise, we're absolutely dedicated to the enterprise cloud. Yeah. And, and an example? So lots of examples of organizations who are doing this. I think one of the, the, the early ones was Circle K, a very a global retailer who moved an existing environment and just moved it onto the cloud. So they haven't really you know, rewritten all of their uh, capabilities. They've just really taken what they've got and got the cost savings, the flexibility and security by lifting and shifting onto cloud, a very, very popular way of doing things. Andrew, thanks a lot for stopping by. Always a pleasure. Getting very busy down and, here, Ronald. and sharing your knowledge yeah. again. And thank you here for watching from the Netherlands from Oracle Modern Cloud Day. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and get notifications of my new video.